Hi friends, it's Aubrey from Crybaby Cinema Homestead. Today I've got a few things I want to put out here in the greenhouse because they're taking up some space. I got from the Dollar Tree, I have these water globes, and I have some solar lights. So let's take a look around here and see what we're going to do. We have these stackers, and I've got some that are empty that I'll deal with later. But I'm going to go ahead and put in some of these water bulbs. And you gotta kind of finagle it a little bit so that the water doesn't come dripping out first. So this is full of water. And I place my thumb over the end while I, I invert it, okay? Let me figure out where I'm gonna put it. I think right here, okay? So I got one there. Ideally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want a lot of these, so. And I think I'll put one here. I think that's kind of cute. And I got a bunch more, but my kids have been playing with them. Actually, my youngest has been playing with them. So I've got the water there. And then I'm going to get into this bag where I got, I got 12 of these lights. So I need to take off the tags and take off the little battery blocker things. So as I'm taking them out and taking the stickers off, I noticed that one doesn't light up right away, but that one does. So I'm hoping that just means that this one didn't get light because it, it needs to charge up, right? So I'm going to give it a chance, but if it doesn't, I might bring it back. I mean, it's kind of silly to bring it back to the Dollar Tree, but we'll see. I do like these. They're really cute with the butterflies. I think it's adorable. Um, I don't think I'd want them like outside outside I don't know if water might accumulate inside of these a lot of solar lights actually that happens and eventually they end up breaking um, but I'm in a polytunnel so I thought this would be really cute to have these um, it doesn't rain in here I do spray water but I don't do it that you know intensely and I'll be careful around these and then whenever you're going to use these if you've used solar lights before on the bottom, they have these little stakes that you just pull out. And I'll have to use two hands to get that. But this one definitely works. And then, this is not the right time of day to really put these out here. It's in the evening right now. But tomorrow, they'll be exposed to light. And then tomorrow night, they should all illuminate. Okay, so I set up all of them. And so out of the 12, one has a kind of a weak light. And one of them did not illuminate. However, it might just because they did not charge up in the sunlight. I'll know by tomorrow night, but I got at least 10 that have a really strong bright light. And I got all these different colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. When it's dark, they light up. When it's light, they don't. And then these are going to be positioned all around in here. Okay. I know this is not Country Living Magazine. I know that. Martha Stewart doesn't like this. Okay. But when I'm out here and I'm working and there's light, that's going to be very nice for me. Look at that. Very bright. All right. Some of them are illuminating. Some of them aren't yet. It's not very dark yet. But I think that looks cute. And I have placed some in these hanging baskets, which I'm going to revamp also. So these are going to get refreshed, but I'll have lights all the way across here. I put a light down there, one in here, one in here, some over there. And then I put one in here. So this area is going to have all this kind of light and i also collected the solar lights that aren't working anymore this is from the dollar tree i think it's been out here four or five years so they lasted a long time and these were only a dollar now i can reuse the spikes because sometimes they break but you want to be careful with these so I collected the solar lights that don't work anymore, the old ones. These are like four years old at least. 
and they're all in here but doesn't that look cute especially when they start lighting up in the summertime in the spring when I'm working out here at nighttime in the evening when it's cooling down it'll be nice to have light out here and I think these look really cute all right well I think that shopping trip to the Dollar Tree to get those solar lights was worth it um, getting a few years out of them I think is a good deal they definitely last longer when they're inside of a polytunnel or a greenhouse and I also think it's a good SHTF type hack where you could have lights storing up energy during the daytime in like a pot or a vase and then you could bring them inside if you lose power so I think it's a great idea they're definitely worth a dollar 25 and when they've absorbed some more sunlight and it's all illuminated I'm gonna have to do another video especially when this greenhouse is all or the polytunnel is all cleaned up so as you know it's a work in progress I'm about 10-20% into this project and I'm going to give you updates along the way. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see those updates. It's going to be cute. It's not going to be Martha Stewart living, but it's my level of cute. What I enjoy and what I can afford. So subscribe if you're at the same kind of level as me or in an area where, you know, you don't feel like you're going to spend $20 on a single solar light. $1.25 is a good deal. It gives you a little bit of light in the evening where you can continue working for a couple more minutes, a couple more hours, um, not pitch black, but it sure is comforting to have a little bit of light out here. All right, everyone, God bless and live long and prosper, and I'll see you on the next video.